Hey guys, welcome back to The Beaten Track. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, on the last video, I installed my um, Dometic sink into the kitchen here in the caravan. Uh, and today I'm going to be uh, installing a flick mixer. So um, tomorrow I'm going away on holidays. So as typical, I pretty much leave things to the last minute. I'm guessing there's probably a whole bunch of you out there that do the same thing. But uh, anyway, we're going to go through the process of um, plumbing this uh, flick mixer in. Uh, it's probably not, um, maybe yeah, a bit of a home job on this one, as you might say, but uh, anyway, we'll uh, have a crack at it and see how we go. Uh, in the meantime, before we get into it, if you can make sure you like uh, this video, that would be awesome. Subscribe to our channel, that would be even better. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit that bell icon too, so you don't miss any future videos. All right, let's uh, get stuck into it. <laughs> So this is the uh, the sink that I've got installed. I've um, plumbed it in. So I've just used a drain hose. It goes out through the floor here and runs up to the back of the caravan. Now with this flick mixer, there's no hole uh, in this bench top because this is a bench top I installed. So I'm planning on drilling a hole uh, in about here. I'm not entirely sure I have the, the right size um, hole bit for this, but um, we'll see how we go. So. That is the flick mixer that I bought. So that one from um, from Bunnings. It's got a hot and cold um, braided hose on that. I'm only going to be using a cold on this one. I don't have a hot water system in the van. Um, and I'm going to be running so my braided hose out, and I'm going to be connecting into this um, side of the pump here. So this is just like your typical drinking water hose. So I've got a T piece here that I'm going to connect into um, and run water up to up to my tap so anyway let's um let's start drilling a hole and see how we go actually because i'm not entirely sure uh, i've got a 32 mil um core and i've got a 38 mil i think i need a 35 mil um this is a 38 mil so what i've done is i've drilled a a hole in a piece of scrap so i'm just going to have a go at mounting the tap up into this piece of scrap first just see if it fits and if it fits then i'll be happy to go ahead and drill a hole into my bench top here So I've just tried out those two holes and it seems that the 32 mil one works uh, better than the larger hole, the larger 38 mil. So I'm gonna run with a 32 mil hole. Unfortunately, the bit I got for that 32 mil hole is uh, actually quite blunt. So it's gonna take a bit of getting through. Wish me luck. I got my hole cut there which is nice so we'll um, mount this uh, tap in there now and uh, fix that in Okay, so got that fitted in there nice and neat now, which is good. Just need to uh, fix up the plumbing and we're good to go. So here's a few bits and pieces that I have. Um, the caravan place where I normally get my gear from uh, was closed yesterday afternoon. Um, so as you know, leaving it to the last minute, I've uh, left with Bunnings options. So I've grabbed this T piece here that's gonna go inside that hose there. And I'll run another piece of hose off. Uh, which will come up to this um, cold water side of the, the mixer. Um, that there is going to adapt into that end of the braided hose, and then that will go into there, and then that'll obviously connect my hose up into there once I've got it done. So hopefully that does the job. Maybe a little bit crude, but anyway, we'll um, 
it should it should work so those little hose clamps which will just help stop it from moving anywhere side in so I'll do do these clamps up now I shouldn't need any gas tape it's got a rubber rubber washer there that should seal that so That nice and tight. Okay, this piece here that goes into that brass fitting, I'm gonna put some gas tape on that. Don't, don't want any leaks. So I've got some spare hose here, which I'm gonna run off there. Probably gonna run it up the side there somewhere. So I'm gonna cut, cut this here. So I had a slight change of plans there. The other fitting that I had um, wouldn't uh, connect to that hose properly. So I just got a different fitting there, um, different hose connections, and uh, this should do the job. So I've just turned the pump on there. No leaks so far, which is a good sign. We'll see if my tap works. have sprayed water out of the hot tap apparently so I'm gonna have to block that up bugger <clears throat> yeah, all right so when I uh, turned the tap on water came out the uh, hot side so I wasn't expecting that I wasn't sure really whether that would happen or not so in the meantime I've got this old tap here um, hopefully this will block it up um, just as a, a quick fix for now until I can get back down to the hardware store and pick up a um, a plug to block that. So I'm going to mount that uh, that piece on there. Hopefully this does the trick. A little bit of improv improvisation until I can get back to the hardware. Alrighty, so that's it. I've just put these saddle clamps just on here just to hold the pipe in place, that hose. Um, but it's all neat. Neat enough anyway for a bush job, but uh, yeah, it does the does the job. And uh, yeah, works perfectly. So that's great. So that's it for putting in a flick mixer, guys. It was uh, pretty simple, really. A little bit of plumbing. Um, had to make a couple of little adjustments here and there to get the job done. Um, I'll probably clean it up a bit. Um, 
when I get back to the hardware store and fix up a few things. But uh, it'll do the job for our camping trip away next week, which is uh, great. Um, anyway, I hope you got something out of that. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Um, subscribe to the channel. That would be really appreciated. And uh, like this video. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Catch you next time. Bye.